Americans need help now, and the deadlock in Congress must end. That's the message from Senator Mitt Romney as he announced a new pandemic relief plan. COVID impact specialist Lad Egan's live tonight. Lad. The centrist lawmakers say Congress needs to act now to help families, businesses, and health care workers. And they say that now is the time, even though some, like Senator Mitt Romney, don't like borrowing more money. I don't like spending money we don't have. But the time to borrow money, maybe the only time to buy money is what, borrow money is when there's a crisis. And this is a crisis. We want to help people at this particular time. Utah Senator Mitt Romney joined a bipartisan group of lawmakers Tuesday to announce the framework of a pandemic relief compromise bill. As somebody used it and I borrowed their term that it would be stupidity on steroids if Congress left for Christmas without doing an interim package uh, as a bridge. The slim down package totals $908 billion. It includes $288 billion for a second round of the Paycheck Protection Program for small businesses and $180 billion for unemployment benefits, which would equal $300 extra per week on top of state benefits. There's also $160 billion for state and local governments and $16 billion for vaccine distribution, testing, and contact tracing. And so we've come together and we've been very careful. This is not a $1.8 trillion stimulus bill. This is a relief measure, half that amount. Included in the proposal is a provision that Romney has been pushing for, a temporary suspension of COVID liability-related lawsuits to protect businesses like Utah has already done. Giving states enough time to put in place their own protections. And let me note that any state that doesn't put in place protections hasn't been thinking this through very carefully. And this evening, uh, it looks like Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell not on board with this bipartisan compromise, saying that he wants to push forward a plan that President Trump will sign into law. And the clock is ticking, Dave. There are only two weeks left on the legislative calendar. All right. Lad Egan live for us tonight with the latest. Thank you, Lad. Stay with KSL as we continue to follow the impacts of this virus. We'll follow the daily case counts and progress of another possible relief package. Look for updates here and on KSLTV.com.